Hello guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome to the Crew Motorfest Closed Beta. I'll see says, I just want to give a huge thank you to obviously Ubisoft for giving me early access to this. Obviously the full release of this game does come out on the 11th of September 2023. And honestly, I don't normally play racing games, but I'm excited for this one. And obviously, I'm just really grateful that I've got access to play this a little bit early to experience what this game has to offer. To and Hawaii, as a content everyone. creator, it's always Looking a great high. feeling playing Back things early, honestly. Even if it's an early build, like, it's, it always feels good playing things early. And to be fair as well, one thing with Ubisoft as well, They've always been on the board when it comes to, like, giving me early access to certain games and stuff. Like, obviously, in the past, we played The Division early, we played Wildlands early, we played Breakpoint early. We played various different, like, games early, you know what I mean? We even played um, X Defiant early, you know what I mean? We played the betas and stuff. It's, I think we're Breakpoint as well. Ghost Recon Breakpoint? I, I, yeah, I played the Alpha as well to that also amazing experience as well so it's like for me as a content creator it's always a great feeling to be able to play these sorts of things early and be able to share it with you guys and hopefully i don't suck at this game when we get like proper hands on with it gather up everyone photo time <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, so we got to choose a character. I think we'll go with this one. Alright, so we got to give him a proper good loot then. Oh, okay, it's not selected, so you have to proper select it. Right, so we'll go with this one. Um, it's going to be wearing a hat anyway. So I don't think it really makes that much difference. I would prefer giving some facial hair, but I don't think he can. You probably can in the full game and stuff, but obviously during the time of this beta. I don't think he can. I'll see if anyone knows me. i got blue eyes, brown hair. Bit of ginger in my beard. Bit of grey, you know what I mean? Because your boy's getting old, so <laughs> it's one of them. Hoodies. I tend to wear hoodies quite a bit. And shirts. So we'll go with the hoodie. Because I'd, I'd say that's probably what, like my most like common like clothing I tend to wear. I always tend to wear hoodies. Jeans is always a must with me. Like I don't know why I always love wearing jeans. Um, shirts. I do like wearing shirts. Caps. You guys tend to see me wearing a cap most of the time in my videos. Just every now and then I don't wear one. So we've got to pick a pose. I'll try not ramble as much as well, guys, because obviously it is really late here in the UK at the time recording this video. It's currently, like, just past midnight. And obviously, I just want to get some last moment recording in and make some videos before I hit the pillow and, uh, yeah, get up early for work. So, I do apologize if I do ramble because I am I am pretty tired. I've been recording a lot all day with it being my day off, but sadly, your boy's got to go back to work tomorrow, so it's like, mm, it's one of them. I think I'll do. All right, everyone, settle down. I know you're all excited. That chopper ride is always a trip. So, welcome again to the Motorfest. I'm Malu, the Motorfest PR, and I'm here to get you up to speed. You are our special guests, athletes, festival goers, car lovers, all gathered here in majestic Hawaii. These are the festival grounds, but we've got the whole island set up for you. We've created a place where you can drive anything from the iconic to the super customized, it's a Motorfest branded 
lovingly crafted car culture celebration. We call these lovelies the playlists. And I'm not just reading from the Motorfest app here either. I tried them out before you arrived. And <laughs> here, let me show you. This playlist Yo. is a unique <clears throat> Motorfest experience. It's called Made in Japan. The visuals as well look really good. Oh, hands on now, boys. You can see how terrible my driving skills are going to be. Last time I proper, like, dedicated my time to a racing game. Well, I mean, like, properly dedicated my time. I'd say it was, like, the OG Need for Speed Carbon and the OG, like, Need for Speed Most Wanted, like, back in the day, like, the PS2 days, you know what I mean? But, other than that, I like racing games, I'm just not really that good at them. I always forget to, like, handbrake, because I'm just, just want to drive fast, you know what I mean? Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. I've gone the wrong way. Hang on. Ah, oh, okay. Hang on. You can rewind. Ah, oh, okay. That's a cool feature. Probably going to be using that quite a bit. Because <laughs> they're my, they're like, they're my luck. I'll end up going, like, completely the wrong way. Come on. We can do this. playlist out for you is what I call a perk of the job. Right in the center of all the action, racing these Japanese drift masters. Just awesome. Come on, we need to catch him up. I'm in the lead, boys. In the lead. Come on. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. What do you think of the Crew Motorfest? Are you going to be picking this game up on the 11th of September 2023? Let me know. And if you've had a chance to play the closed beta, what's your thoughts and opinions on it so far? Like, I love the visuals, and to be honest, this game feels and looks pretty good. go again. This time off-roading. Look at the scenery and everything, man. It looks so good. And obviously, in case you're wondering what platform I'm currently playing this on, I'm playing it on the Xbox Series S. So, see, just the visuals look pretty good, to be honest. Driving off -road this game's going to be coming out on the PlayStation 5, the PS4, the Xbox One, the Series S and X, PC, and Amazon Luna, apparently. Total freedom becomes your creed. But to be honest though, like this year, Ubisoft have got a lot of stuff that they're just pumping out at the moment. You know what I mean? We've got X Defiant that's coming out soon. And which is basically in my eyes, it's the new Call of Duty. That's that's how I view X Defiant. We've got this, we've got Assassin's Creed games coming out and so much more. So it's like they've been really busy. You know what I mean? All the teams and stuff underneath Ubisoft. You're smashing it, man. You're doing a great job. Four by fours, pickups, quads. You're given every chance to go off the beaten path. The one game I am looking forward to, though, is the um, the new um, Avatar game that's coming out. Because honestly, from the like from the gameplay that they've shown of it, it looks incredible. And obviously you've got the Division Heartlines as well. The Heartland, sorry. Which I'm definitely down for playing. Obviously Assassin's Creed Mirage and stuff. It's going to be good, man. It's going to be awesome. And to be honest, even though I don't really tend to play much like racing games as often as I used to when I was younger, I'm thinking of picking this up. Like, I can see myself probably platinum in this game or something. But the next playlist is all about the competition. At 
aptly named the Motorsports Playlist, this one is for the pros. That's it now, it's going to turn into Formula One. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Let's go. Motorsports is built around racing to the top, the thrill of competing, but it's also about strategic choices, decision making under pressure. Let's keep going, let's keep this going. So if you enjoyed the video so far guys, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new, would really, really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Crew Motorfest. I think it's awesome. I think this game is really good. It feels good, it looks good. There is no better feeling than triumphing with your team in what some consider the apex of motorsports. I love like the visuals for like the background sceneries and stuff as well. It's like it looks amazing. Because one thing I always love like with video games is the fact that like, colours, like bright graphical like games and stuff with Making beautiful colour schemes and stuff. So it looks so good. Rivals, really good for the eye to just look at. Like tense. at the moment, even though I'm driving on this game, it's like I'm more in like engraved in the sceneries because it just visually looks really appealing. champion but then I got to go old school vintage garage a playlist for the true huh. car aficionado old school cars all right No nitrous or GPS in this event. Ah, so it's literally just old school racing. Or the nostalgia. It's how these things drive, how they feel, how they steer. It was quite a challenge, in the best way possible. Yeah, mom, we can do this. Outside of some collector car park, when would you ever get a chance to take these venerable legends for a spin? That's the power of Vintage Garage. A taste of an age where there was no nitro to boost you and no GPS to guide you. Feels strangely comforting. It certainly does. It's very different because you're so used to have like having a mini map or something and nitrous because obviously with racing games you naturally have like nitrous in your cars. But doing this sort of thing, you just uh, it feels good, man. Reminds me of like old school cars, like back in the day, like old school racing games. They're doing pretty good so far. I'm not sure how many of these playlists is going to be, but. See what happens. And in with the new, they say. The next playlist is legendary. Lamborghini. What have you got for me? Ooh. I'm running out of adjectives here. Now this is what you call a knee for speed. Beautiful man. Logo. You knew what this playlist was gonna be. Some of the most recognizable car designs in existence at your disposal. Come on. Let's keep this momentum going now. Come on.
try not like smash up or anything or mess up. There's nothing quite like yeah, some to be cars. fair, it's like a speed race through the I think my driving skills are alright. They're not the best, Power but they'll do. <laughs> out of 10, guys, what do you rate it? My driving skills, out of 10. I can accept a 2, maybe. I'll be happy with 2, if you guys can rate that. A privilege Motorfest graciously gave me. And now, it's your turn. Let's keep this going, come on. Such beautiful cars, though. <laughs> like what you saw? Well, those were just the tip of the iceberg. But we've got to go step by step. Follow me. Look around you. This is what it's all about. Cars, bikes, Rides and good vibes. You'll get to explore the festival soon enough. And let's not forget, we're in Hawaii. And there's no better place to express yourself. Show off your flair. Customize your ride. It's a car culture buffet. Keep up. We're going to go meet the star of the show. Your car, of course. Come on. It's time for you to pick your ride. Once you pick your car, I'll serious. hand you over to Kara, your personal AI assistant. When in doubt, you can always rely on her to guide you. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one, boys. I see it is, it's a hard choice out of the three, but I'll go with this one. Let me know which of the three cars you would have chose. AI assistance engaged. All engines go. <laughs> That's my character. It's like, chilling bros, chilling. <laughs> in a journey through Japanese car culture. Hawaii scenic tour. So pretty much the same Discover, sort of things we've just been doing. Then. Photograph the hidden charms and captivating beauty of Hawaii. 9-11 Legacy, mm. a Porsche story. Experience the true legacy of Porsche and keep these iconic cars pristine. Hawaii scenic tour, made in Japan. Face over asphalt okay. and drift through neon in a journey through Japanese car culture. What I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So hopefully you all enjoyed this first look at the Crew Motorfest. Like I said, this game is going to be released on the 11th of September 2023. And obviously as well, a big huge shout out to Ubisoft for giving me early access to play the closed beta. Honestly... I think this is amazing. I feel like this game is going to do really well when it's fully released. And if you guys would like me to record even more on this, let me know and I'll try and give you some more videos on it if it's something that you would like to see. Anyways, like I said, if you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. That's all I ask, guys. And I'll catch you again in another video real soon.